Emerging Invasive Species Spotlight, Seabold's Viburnum. Seabold's Viburnum, Viburnum seaboldii, is also known as Seabold's arrowwood. It's native to Japan and is an emerging invasive species in the Lower Hudson area of New York. It was introduced as an ornamental plant. This perennial shrub can grow up to 20 feet tall and prefers full sun or part shade. This plant has a woody stem and is primarily identified by its distinctive leaves. They're large, opposite, and oblong. They're glossy and sometimes waxy. They have prominent veins, especially on the underside of the leaf. The leaf margin is serrated, and each serration comes to a point. The leaves also smell like burnt rubber or green pepper, depending on who you ask. The flowers are small, white, and clustered in an umbel shape. They bloom from May through July. The seeds are also clustered and turn from green to red as they mature. They're mature in August through October and mature seeds can persist into the early winter. If you're having any trouble identifying a viburnum, Cornell has an excellent guide online. Seabold's viburnum is threatening because it's fast-growing and aggressive, forming dense stands that can quickly shade out and outcompete native vegetation. It can tolerate a wide range of soil and sun conditions, and so can invade many habitats from roadsides to shrublands to forests and riparian areas. It's a prolific seeder it's also an ornamental plant and bird dispersed, so it can easily be transferred by birds from a garden into a natural area. The current distribution as of May 2020 is fairly limited to the southern area of New York, with a few reports in central New York and western New York. Management of Seabold's viburnum can be done fairly easily with young plants by just hand pulling. For larger infestations, you can mow them, but it will take many years because plants will re-sprout from surviving roots. Cut stump can be done with glyphosate or triclopyr. Basil bark can also be done with triclopyr. Foliar is also an option with glyphosate. Thank you to our partners who made this possible.